Before I start talking about Netflix's One Piece, I have to first bring up the fact that I am not a One Piece fan. I haven't read any of the manga or watched all the anime. In fact, I can confidently say that I can count the episodes of One Piece I watched on one hand. So, I'm going to Netflix's One Piece as someone with little to no information about the characters or story and will be judging it as is. And with that being said, this show, as its own thing, was a damn good show to watch. Seriously, I never find myself being as entertained and glued to each episode of something like Netflix One Piece. Each episode really ups the ante what it can do, tell, and have our characters act like as a result. This show is not only good at its own thing, but it also seems to be good to One Piece fans as they see it as a faithful adaptation that helps break the curse of past anime adaptations that Netflix has done before it. There are little hiccups along the way during the season, but we'll get to that a little bit later because they aren't really that big of a deal. But right now, let's talk about what I like about the show. The set pieces as well as the action scenes are really creative and full of life and not all too bogged down in terms of limitations so it can seem real as possible with as much practical sets and effects as possible. Netflix seems to be putting their money where their mouths are and did everything necessary to make it as eye-catching to those who are watching. I also really enjoyed the characters on screen. Each character brings their own film personality that makes them entertaining to watch. There is a genuine feeling that these actors are really giving it their all and fully embodying these roles, while also adding their own flair that makes them wholly their own thing away from the anime. My favorite character in this show is obviously Luffy. There is such a bubbly personality to him when he's happy and adventurous, while also showing he can be serious and kick ass when he has to fight. All the other actors who played the characters of Zoro, Yusuf, Nami, and Sanji also have their moments to shine and really show they earn their spots to be here with scenes that show they can be serious and fun. Even the side characters and bad guys are enthralling to watch you can easily understand their motivation and reasons of being who they are and why they're doing what they're doing. These are roles you can obviously tell their actors are having fun with. As for the story, well they played it safe and essentially the retelling of the first arc, albeit condensing the 40 episodes it took to tell it into a reasonable 8 episodes. Because I haven't watched it that far, I can't really tell if that means important stuff was cut as a result, but the most critical response from fans seemed to be that it did a good job condensing these episodes and still made sense of being entertaining in the grand scheme of things. Critics, however, kind of have a different opinion on this. Personally, I think when you adapt something, you need to make changes so that you're not retelling the exact same story and be called lazy as a result. But you should at least still try to make whatever you're adapting still feel like the original source material. The previous Netflix anime adaptations clearly got this idea wrong, so playing it safe and staying as is, is the safety net that the show needed. Also, it helps that they got the original creator of One Piece involved with the show, and he had final say on everything, which is something I think more creators need to do when adaption of their work is done. So that's what I like about Netflix One Piece. As what I didn't like, well it mainly stems from the fact that even though it feels fresh and new and something original, you can still feel some of the Netflix changes creeping into it. There was some dialogue and scenes throughout the first season that really felt as if it was added by higher ups in Netflix in an effort to be different enough. The best way I can describe what it was like is what Netflix did with Cowboy Bebop, only not as severe. Looking at you, blackmail line. And because it's not as severe, it's more or less a passing thing that you forget about in the long run. But I just wish Netflix would stop doing this, because this show doesn't need that for it to be good. It's good outright already with what it does and accomplishes. As its own thing, the characters are great. The story's easy to follow, the action set pieces are fun and super creative, and I'm happy that they went the practical route as much as they could. So, as a non-One Piece fan, this is a good show. But to all the One Piece fans out there, this show is a goddamn miracle. In a time where live action anime adaptations can either be bad or mostly suck, for a show as big as One Piece to get this treatment and to come out of it relatively unscathed is amazing. With this success, I genuinely hope there's a season 2. I mean that. Before, I wanted a sequel to Death Note and a season 2 of Cowboy Bebop because I wanted to see how much they can mess up or try to retcon in certain aspects. But this time, I genuinely want to see where the story can go next and how they tell it. In the end, Netflix's One Piece looks as if it was going to be another casualty in the sea of anime adaptations. But it looks like it will set sail to be one of the biggest surprises and miracles for anime fans and casual watchers.